Don't forget to like and subscribe to Evolve MEP. Hello, this is Amber with Evolve MEP. Today we're going to be talking about annotations. What makes annotations so awesome is you're able to establish how a tag is going to be placed based on the elements themselves that you've specified. And also it allows you to specify the way it's going to be placed in the way of if it's going to be placed in the middle of the element or at a certain distance off to the side. When we're looking at our annotation panel here, you'll find annotations within the ribbon of your Evolve Mechanical. Some of the annotations here, these are some that are predefined. So we have our offset, we have our length, we have our size, our multi. You are going to see that there is a little asterisk by these that is indicating that there is a shift command associated with this. If we hover over our offset here, it's going to say that the place offset for selected parts based on annotation settings. The next line will say hold shift to manually specify placement. So we'll talk about that when it comes to the physical placement of it. So how this works is I'm able to either select my elements then I'm able to come over here and select the annotation that I would like to place on. So what tag I want to place on. And then I'll place the element. You can deselect that. Or we come over here to the tool itself. So my number. Then it will indicate to pick an element to tag. And then you'll have your tag here. It will keep you actively in your command, so you can keep on selecting your elements themselves. Once you are finished, you can hit escape on your keyboard to end the command. What's nice about this is you could utilize your element filter to select what you're looking for for your elements themselves. I could come in here and have my element filter to select all my tags and I could delete those. Then I could come over here and do uh, select service, select my entire run here, and then I could come over here and place my dimensions for my length or I could come over here and do my multi. This one might get a little crazy depending on, again, how much you've selected and depending on the annotation settings that are predefined. So let's select those all again and delete them. So let's look at the annotation settings here. So the annotation settings, these are project-based settings, meaning if you do make any modifications to these settings, it will impact the Revit file itself. So let's look at our columns here. So we have our tag type, our family name, the family file path, the surface type, the placement, and again, the ability to tweak the placement as well. So if we're looking at our rectangular duck here, you can see we have our below left, and then we tweak our left and our right. So we can tweak the placement itself and also the up and down. So you can come in here and adjust how this is going to be physically placed. You can specify the leader itself as well. So if we want a leader or not. So again, you can come in here and fine tune how you physically want these tags to be placed. Once you've established these settings here, again, at that point, it is really selecting the elements you want, either 
pre-selecting them, utilizing element filter, or you're able to utilize the workflow of selecting the tool first and then specifying the elements that you want a tag to. You can see it was placed in the bottom left hand corner of the element itself. And again, it was tweaked based on the settings as well when it comes to the up and also the, the position of it itself as well. All right, let's look at the little asterisk here. So we're gonna select on our tool itself. So now it's saying pick an element to tag. Before we select on the element, we're gonna hold shift on our keyboard and then select on our element itself. Now it's indicating to pick a point for the header of the tag. So we can actually specify where we want them to be physically placed. So that point, it overrides your annotation settings and allows you to pick where you want it to be placed. That's great for scenarios where there's a lot going on and you really want to fine tune the placement itself. So now we can specify it. Maybe we want it way over here. We're able to identify it at that point. You can always tweak the tags after the fact if you need to. But again, these are a quick and easy way to place the annotations. We also have the ability to specify and predefine additional tags, but we will talk about that at a later date. So that is today's video on annotations in the way of the annotations or the tags that are pre-established for you and modifying the annotation settings. If you have any questions or want to see more, please visit our website and request a demo. Thank you.